The hardest hit area in terms of power outages is Jefferson County. The brutal freezing rain coating branches like a blanket, causing many of them to crash. Another concern today is the falling ice. We continue our team coverage with Niels Rang. He joins us live in Pine Bluff, where the outage numbers are slowly heading in the right direction. Neil. That's right. Around 14,000 people in Jefferson County started the day without power when I checked at 7.30 this morning. That number now down to 11,000. It's a big improvement compared to what we were seeing yesterday whenever the area increased the amount of people without power over the day by at least 4,000. You can hear it and you can see it. Ice falling in Jefferson County, replacing what many saw falling Thursday, trees. I just shined my flashlight outside and seen it was on the ground there and I said, well, thank you, Lord. Arnie That's Brandon wrong. considers himself blessed. Unlike some neighbors dealing with trees on their homes, his was spared and he's seeing the rainbow after the winter storm. I hope there's a pot of gold down there. If it is, I might share it with you. Friday, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office showed us over 20 locations they knew where power lines or trees were on the roads. While we were checking them out, we saw several people without power. Brandon hasn't had any since Tuesday. I'm a survivor. <laughs> My ex-wife said I could fall out of an airplane out in the jungle and I'd live. <laughs> Energy crews have been working around the clock to restore power, and with sunshine and temperatures in the 40s, they're making much quicker progress. It's wonderful to see that stuff start melting. <laughs> Maybe they'll get power on tomorrow. You may have noticed this garage and house behind me. I spoke to the homeowner off camera when his home was hit around 5.30, he said last night. Power went out, but energy crews were able to get the power restored here in just a few hours. He said it came back around 8.30 last night, and a lot of people here, again, over 11,000, are hoping they can join that club, get the lights restored. And I spoke with Energy. They told me that they are hopeful. They estimate to have our restored to Jefferson County by noon tomorrow. Reporting in Pine Bluff, I'm Niels Rang.